Hello everybody, Super Tim 101 here, and welcome back to another episode of Mad Monday, where I go over all sorts of marauders, mad cats, mad dogs, and anything else that might be just a little bit mad. And today we're going to be going over the Marauder 2C Scorch. This is the hero mech of the Marauder 2Cs, and quite honestly, I have not had great luck with this mech uh, because it is usually very much a brawler. It usually runs LB20s which are with a bunch of SRM6s and it wants to get up in your face and just blow everything up in, a, in brawl range, which it's really, really good at. But I'm not good at being patient or having good battlefe battlefield awareness to figure out when to push or where to push, things like that. So I haven't had great success with the Marauder 2C Scorch, even though I really wanted to because it's the hero mech of one of my favorite mechs. And then... PGI released the Hyper Assault Gauss, and I was like, hmm, I have a Marauder 2C Delta that runs the two Pag 30s in the arms, and it could easily fit in the Scorch, and that gives me a little bit of range instead of having to be in Brawl range all the time, uh, and yet I can still run Brawl weapons with the SRM6s. I'm going to give this a shot. So, with all of that said, let's jump to the Mech Lab and actually check out what we're running. That's right, the Hyper Assault Gauss 30, one in each arm, and then four SRM6 plus Artemis uh, with a, a Clan XL 315. Now, that has to either drop the, the engine down a little bit uh, from the sort of standard uh, brawling Scorch just because the heavy sort of the Hyper Assault Gauss are, are heavier than the LB20s. So, why don't we just look at the quirks real quick? Just to see what we have here. Yes, you do have an LBX cooldown minus 7.5%. 7 you have a ballistic cooldown minus 7.5%, and you've got an SRM cooldown minus 10%. Um, so, you don't use the LBX cooldown anymore, but you do have a little bit of a cooldown on your, your hags, uh, which helps a little bit. But uh, you don't have to brawl with this anymore like you did with just using the LB20s. And I thought that uh, made this mech even more effective than it already was. It was already one of the best brawlers in the game, and if you were good at brawling, if you're good at being patient and good at knowing when to push, where to push, seeing where the enemies were and things like that, knowing kind of when to take cover. The Scorch could absolutely destroy people. But if you're like me, and you like to poke at distance more, more than, than just be patient and brawl, uh, then you need a weapon that can do that. And honestly, these Hag 30s give you that weapon. And it has been super fun to play. You can still brawl with it because of the SRM 6s. In fact, you want to get up in people's faces. Uh, but uh, in the early game, you can still dish out damage. You can't brawl as effectively. So that's I want to make that clear. You can't brawl as effectively because LB20s have a better DPS. The LB20s also are just point and shoot, right? So the, the Hag 30s, you have to hold down the charge and then uh, and then release to get the damage out. So if you're not uh, super good at timing, you might, be, might miss your shots even in brawl range. Uh, but it still does even more damage. Look at the firepower, 108 alpha that's incredible now it is spread right but so is the regular scorch it was a spread damage all over the mech but it was focused enough that i could just blow off components and i've had this has just been so much fun i just had so much fun uh with a couple games in the mad 2c scorch just trying out the heavy gauss so with that said let's jump into the skills and see what we're running i did uh go full velocity uh, magazine capacity for the uh, the hags and then missile all the missile nodes um, those all of your weapons have velocity so you want that you want more uh, more ammo for everything it is hot uh, the hags have heat uh, way more heat than the lb20s and the srms do have heat uh, so you want you want the heat nodes um, I like full range on my srms just because I like to shoot them at basically at full range you'll see in the games that I'm not great at timing the velocity of the SRM, because you'll have a lot of practice with it. Uh, but when I hit, it's devastating. So uh, keep that in mind. You might have to practice a little bit with the velocity if you're not used to SRMs. If you are, you'll probably just destroy with things with this mech. Uh, I did go more into cooldown just uh, to help with the cooldown quirk. Full armor and structure. Uh, cool run just to reduce the heat of the... Uh, uh, increase the heat dissipation, rather. Um, Seismic sensor just because uh, wall hacks are good. Three nodes into radar deprivation. I did go one in advanced zoom. In the first game, I didn't do that, and I felt like I needed it. Um, but because the hags have such great range, I like to have the ability to sort of see out 
the 700 meters uh, with or 600 meters even with advanced zoom. So I use that in the in the second game. And I think I think it's it felt more comfortable for me, but your your mileage might vary. And then the one consumable slot for UAV and a cool shot. With that said, let's jump into a game or two, and I hope you enjoy. I must say you look rather uh, radioactive. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of threw some Seahawk colors on there. <laughs> but just the way they're dripping, it's like somebody had like, you know, just like threw paint in your face. I like it too. I like the paint. If I should have a. Oh, the circle's green. You really haven't played for a Yo. long time. Wow. <laughs> I see it on that one map now. I think that was like the September patch. Right, that'll give you camouflage when you get in it. Heck yeah. That's It'll just like disappear it. into the circle. Um, yes, Tim, I really haven't played since early August. I bought the uh, the pack for the um, Stone Rhino, and then I played through all of that pack, and then I just kind of was like, I'm done. Target acquired. Target spotted. Target spotted. New target acquired. I am taking a huge risk being over here. Yeah, I took a lot of damage just running by, so be careful. It's like all of a sudden I was face hugging a building from 50 meters away. Is that you? Target spotted! Uh, several in uh, Hotel 6. Target acquired. Super Tim, I'm coming to give you some support. Aren't yeah, they're mind. pushing in Hotel 6. You need some yeah, I'm moving. Wired. Oh god. It would be helpful with the rhino head of your way. Heat level critical. Target spotted. Right on critical down. Yeah, take all the action, so They're separated. Target acquired. I got your cover up high. Target spotted. Keep pressing the wrong New button. Target acquired. Oh, target spotted. Much. Wow. New like, target no. acquired. UAV activated. Critical. New target acquired. Weapon explosion detected. Gauss rifle destroyed. New oh, target acquired. Target spotted. Right torso destroyed. Ah! The skill shots got me. Right number. Critical damage. Left arm. Damage. SRM target destroyed. Spotted. Yes. New target acquired. Yeah, yeah, let's roll them target up. Spotted. Seven to two, just push. Where right. they be? GG, you target guys. Destroyed. Thanks for the love. New target acquired. I yeah, appreciate you guys pulling my ass out of the fire. Sorry. I'm all about that. Yeah, I wasn't about to let that ass. scale shot have his way with you. Damn near got the kill on two scale shots. I got the first one. Well, he he almost had me. Like I've got an orange uh, side torso. New target acquired. Target spotted. Well, I'm out of ammo. Uh, this ain't good. Target spotted. Target destroyed. Ooh, boy. Target spotted. Somebody yeah, is. I'm missing half my mech and uh, one touch CT. Target acquired. Target spotted. 
that Rob over there? Yes. He's scouting. He's scouting. <laughs> New target acquired. New target acquired. Target spotted. I don't know how to get more ammo on this thing. New target. Drop yeah, more leg armor. Ian. No, oh, I've dropped ECM, leg armor. Uh, to a Let's go with a different mech. Go your mech. Target spotted. Uh, echoes. Like I think you could run Fox just seven. two hog thir hag thirties on a heavy, and that would probably be enough damage output. Like two on a medium, I'm doing pretty good. I just run out of ammo. Like I would have got a lot more damage than that. I would be messing those guys up right now if it had, it, had the ammo. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. But... I can't put them on my The cicada had well, my mech off and then I ran directly into the Hellbringer. Yeah. And I was one touch. <laughs> so, he's trying to get over there to help. Hold on, everybody. <laughs> Thirty-one team damage. Whoopsies. Yeah, I had nine. I had nineteen. I mean, I feel like hags get team damage. Easy. Hmm. Cindy Lopper with a thousand nine. Well done, Cindy Lopper. I'm gonna hang back with you a little bit just because chance we get Target to Fox shot fell. Fox is alone. New uh, target acquired. Okay. Yeah, this will note somewhere in Gulf City. New target acquired. Target spotted. Press on top. Spotted. Now in Delta. They all brought down Delta 5. Wish I had jumped Target in. Spotted. Need assistance. New target acquired. Target spotted. Golf to the left. New target acquired. Target Echoes don't matter. New target acquired. Target spotted. Uh, uh, okay. All right, all right. We're just talking about. New target You're gonna sit on each other here, right? Bravo dropped. Bravo pushing. Target spotted. Left course on Bravo. Acquired. Delta, left torso. Hey. A little bit too beaten up there. India CT. Target spotted. Target destroyed. There you go. New target acquired. Watch your heads, watch your heads, Echo 5. Hotel. New target acquired. Bravo pushing in, left torso. Target spotted. New target acquired. Target spotted. Yeah, New that's about typical acquired. for a die roll for me. 285 Alpha done, CT. 381 taken. New target acquired. CT golf. Target spotted. Because that's what it takes to kill a 100 ton mech. New target acquired. Target spotted. Delta Warlord. Target spotted. Light arms destroyed. Damn. Weapon explosion detected. Boss rifle destroyed. Target spotted. New target acquired. Is UAV above us? Target spotted. Target spotted. Thank you. New target acquired. 
Help with golf. Kilo, Fox 5 behind us. Kilo, Fox 5 behind us. Uh, Alpha. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Need help with golf? Oh, Julia's super fresh. Got a little spread out here. Target spotted. Alright, let's not chase all the squirrels. Target acquired. Julia up top. Target spotted. I could kill these. Juliet right arm ready to pop. CT on Juliet. Target spotted. I can't shoot. Maybe you're in front of me. Center torso critical damage. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Kilo behind us, Fox 5. Left torso destroyed. SRM ammo destroyed. Push on the ammo. 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 Push just drilled right through your CT, I guess. That is a terrible build. Well, it might, it might do the job, though, with the, uh... They're like a T-Rex. If you don't move, they can't see you. Yeah, I mean, my Vindicator never takes the, that little damage and... Echo 5 down low. Warlord. He has machine guns. What is that Atlas build? Yeah, yeah I didn't little... even get it. I didn't even destroy a component. So I wanted to do a brief recap of those two games. You can see that even when I'm not brawling in this, I, I got out of position in kind of both games. Uh, the first game on Grim, I was thinking I was going to be kind of sneaky uh, and be able to gauss people from the car park area of Grim Plexus. Uh, but like their whole team pushed that way. But I thought I did a pretty good job of uh, backing off and not completely pushing into them to die immediately, which gave my team a chance to uh, rush over and, like I said in the game, pull my ass out of the fire. It was uh, just a bad positioning, and I still did quite a bit of damage. Uh, and so the the mech can take quite a bit, even if it's only an 85-ton clan assault. Uh, and, and assault mechs typically tech, take a little bit less damage than their interstellar counterparts. Uh, but you can still sort of splash damage uh, if you wiggle your nose like regular marauders, uh, even though they can they can isolate side torsos if they're really good shots. But if you if you twist a little bit, they uh, they'll usually splash all over your your torsos, which helps you absorb more damage. But having the SRMs there uh, like punches people in the face when they get close and they're not used to it. It gives you a little more DPS uh, and it can really help chase people off. And props to my team for for quickly moving over and killing the enemies in that area. Uh, and I think it, it it worked out really well. Uh, even if I was out of position and the mech can still deal, deal damage in a short amount of time, which is kind of one of the good things about the Scorch in general. The second game, uh, I did a, a bunch of damage, but if I hadn't pushed up too far up the hill at the beginning and lost just like almost all of my armor, uh, I think it, we actually could have pulled that one out and uh, won that game. Um, I just took way too much damage at the beginning to get to secure that kill, and it ended up not being worth it. Uh, 
Um, but but still having um, I, I thought that showed having the range of the SRMs being like full range. Uh, again, I missed a couple shots just so I don't have the velocity now. But having that range out get out to 310 meters, that was really helpful. Uh, being able to shoot at that range and still actually get my hags on target as well. It's a lot of fun, and I think this is. Uh, for for people who like to skirmish or or to even snipe more than they like to brawl, this could be a really good compromise because the SRM still blap uh, when people get in the range, and you will be pushed. Like that's just a thing that happens in the game. You might be able to stand uh, in the back and shoot your hags for most of the game, uh, but I think most games you will be pushed by by other enemies, and having those SRMs to just Lot people in the face will make them think twice. So, it's a lot of fun. I had a good time. Uh, if you if you had a good time, leave a like. And if you like this kind of content, think about subscribing. Thanks, and have a good day.